Hey team, what's going on? So check it out. It's time to train. Let's paint rocks. Here we go again. Here we go again. Time to paint again. So I'm going to start with gray and a filler and get the main idea of the shape I want to make. It is surprising how hard it can be to come up with a new shape, so um, try to turn your brain off and just throw down paint. That way the shapes you make will be random. Hopefully. Later on with practice you can start to determine the kind of rocks you want, thus dictating the shape. Like for instance, if you want river rocks then maybe make them smooth and rounded, versus mountain rocks that tend to be a, a bit more jagged. That way, the rocks will fit the scene and it will be more believable. Next, throw in some titanium white and get the highlighting. These here rocks are granite, I reckon, so I'm going to use gray as the base. You won't always find these color rocks, so we will try different colors with different rocks after I'm done with these ones. As you can see, I'm just defining where the shadows would lie and letting the shape develop through a, a working of the shadow and highlight and midtones. Back and forth and forth and back. Always keep an eye on where the light source is coming from, though. Well, as advertised, let's try some different colors. Basically, it's the same deal, guys. Just different colors. Come up with a shape that serves the scene you, you place it in, get a shadow color in, and then highlight it where you reckon the sun would hit it. Easy, right? Nope! Super hard! <laughs> but this is why we train. You know what? I'm gonna do a third set too, but this time I'm gonna use a palette knife. Get a little roll of paint on the knife and gently press the knife to the canvas and drag it along. The paint will break wherever it wants to. Don't fight it by pressing hard, just let it happen. That's right, soft and gentle. These rocks are going to have a lot of texture and detail on them, so they are probably best suited for rocks in the foreground. You decide though. One thing I ought to mention, most knife applications are wet on wet type painting. You can try wet on dry, but the base coat is drying at different rates and the stickiness of the paint varies as you gently pull the knife across the canvas. That's what causes all the variety and the breaking of paint in seemingly random ways, all by its lonesome, that we all love about palette knife painting.
Anyway, now I'm going to finish off the rocks by putting a shadow underneath them. No effect of light off a rock is complete without the cast shadow, so it's good to practice putting a shadow on everything you do, because in every painting you do, every object will have one. Unless they don't. Hmm. Whatever, I'm putting them in. Alright team, well I think that is enough for today. I learned some good things and I hope you did too. Did y'all notice and enjoy the music? If so, please check out my other channel, Studio 214 Music. It's where all the music from these here videos gets posted for your enjoyment. <laughs> and they're super fun to make too though. Anyway, new question, answer, comment, critique, and training videos every Tuesday and Thursday. I hope to see you back for both. As for me, I'm going to the house. For Studio 214, I'm Greg. Merry Christmas, everybody! Yay!